Welcome to Trader Workstations. What if portfolio? All right. So <laughs> I said in an earlier video that this is really cool, but it's going to waste a little bit of your life. Uh, I shouldn't say waste. You're going to spend some time on this because it's really cool to go in and see what if, what if, what if I added a position to my portfolio? What if I was in a spread and I took off my short side and left my long side. How would that affect my portfolio? I, all these things you ask yourself, what if, what if, what if? The Risk Navigator literally gives you a way to do that. So let's jump into it. You're going to go through the same process. You're going to go up here to Analytical Tools. You're going to come down to Risk Navigator. You're going to say, I want a new what if. The first question it's going to ask you is, okay, do you want a new what if position with your portfolios that you have right now? Or do you want a totally blank one? I'm going to go ahead and hit yes at first. All right, so here is our current portfolio, how it is. Now, the what if scenario allows you to say what if. What if. Right now, I can go into any of my regular positions. And you can see this little check mark to the right. So let's say I wanted to get rid of my Apple position. Let's say I sold this Apple position. It no longer was in my account. If I click this, then things are going to change. It's going to basically take that position out. So I could say, what if I close my Apple, my ConAgra, and, and this position? How is that going to change my portfolio? And you can see, okay, this is how it changes it. Another thing you could do is you can expand your Apple position and say, okay, well, what if I just closed out my 145 calls? What would happen? What would happen if I just closed out those legs? And you can see, okay, this is what would happen. This is how your delta would change. This is how everything would change. You could even go in and say, well, what if I closed out one of these? Now, in a portfolio of this size, you know, closing out one leg is <laughs> one position not going to change much. But you can go in and really play around with this. It's really, really neat where you can say, okay, well, what is, let's isolate this to only Apple. All right. So let's go back to the original position, which was minus three. All right. So this was the original position. If I say, well, what, what would happen if I would take off two of these to where I left just short one? It shows you what would change. It now shows you a new risk graph. It shows you. All right, this is now your P&L. This is what it's going to look like. As I said earlier, this is where you're going to spend a lot of time if you're fairly new to options saying, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I can go in and see pretty much anything I want to do on any position. So again, you can, you can manipulate individual positions just like I showed you. But if you want to go see, okay, new. So... This portfolio is, is tilted to the bear side. Um, it's got about $11,000 of max risk if the market goes up more than 6.5%. That's the max risk on this. You can see that the market does go down and goes down substantially. This is going to be a big winner. But let's say this, this person said, hey, you know what? I actually maybe want to be have a little bit more bullishness to this. So they can say, you know what? I'm going to go in, and if I scroll to the bottom of my positions, I can go to new. And it says, okay, I'm going to add a new position. I'm going to add spiders, and I'm just going to add stock. And then, of course, I can put in the position. So if I went, wanted to go in and just add 1,000 shares of stock at this point, you can see that risk graph has now changed. It's changed to where now my uh, – let's go check out what value risk was. It was $11,000 by changing this. I've really made this to where there's very, very little risk. Now, frankly, a lot of people look at that and say, that's great. Um, these confidence intervals, 99.5%. So I'm basically putting myself in a very, very high likelihood to make nothing. <laughs> Amazing. Ta-da. I could be in cash and make nothing. But again, but let's say that I wanted to do a temporary hedge. This is a great little tool to go in and say, all right, so um, 
I was really bearish. I want to take that off the table right now temporarily. I could just do that by buying a thousand S&P and that basically flattens out my risk curve. Basically flattens it out, takes away the risk. Now again, it's also taken away the reward. But it's, again, it's just a really interesting tool to be able to go in and add in a what if scenario. This is again, like I said, I played around with this for so long, so long. And it was, um, it really helped me understand more about just how to manipulate an entire account. When people start out as new traders, we always start out as singular traders is what I call. I mean, you're going to make a singular trade. I'm going to go ahead and buy Apple long puts, whatever. I'm going to do a spread on this. Once you get to a higher level, you start to understand that it's all interconnected. And you start to understand that, oh, you know what? If I, if I want to change my portfolio, instead of closing down positions, I could add one position and get to the same place that I wanted to be instead of closing five positions that I think are still going to work. It's just a really great tool. So it's not all that complicated. It is a little buggy, but you just go open up a what if portfolio and you can go ahead and add positions, track positions, change positions. And you can go in and say, what if I just did 500? Maybe that's more around where I want to be. There's more around 500 uh, shares of the S&P. That knocks it down, but it still leaves me with some decent upside potential. Looks like I've got about 3,500 bucks of value at risk. And, you know, if I think the market's going to move down 4%, you know, I could be looking at a six, $6,000 gain. So go in and manipulate this however you want. Add positions, take them away. Um, this is how to do it on your existing portfolio. If you want... You can you can save this so you can go back and look at it later. So if you've made some changes and you say, hey, I want to I don't want to do all this work again. Go ahead and save it. And then you can go in and you come up here to uh, portfolio and you go to open and then you go ahead and go to where you save that that folder. Now, if you want to get a new one, you just go to analytical tools, risk navigator, open a new what if. And it says, no, I don't want any positions in there. It's just going to open you up a totally blank, totally blank position. So you can start from scratch. If you're fairly new to options and you want to basically see, okay, how can I, you know, I'm, I'm working on my diagonal call spreads. You know, what can I do? What can I do to, to manipulate a diagonal call spread. I'm just going to go into Apple. I'm going to build a combo. And I'm just going to throw in some numbers here, people. Problem with throwing in numbers, sometimes those options don't exist. I'll go with ones I know exist. Okay, so here is my combo here on Apple. If I expand it all, I can see all the legs. And I can come in here and say, okay, what if I did five? Again, I'm going to go to the date. I'm going to go to So I'm going to go to uh, the, the short option date, and this is where I can now look at the risk graph of, okay, this is what it's going to look like. This is where I get to play with stuff. It's really cool. So what if, um, what if instead, uh, I can't break this out. I was going to say, what if I closed some, but since I built it as a combo, I was going to say, what if I closed two of the short legs? Oh, sorry. I should have done that a better way. I'm just going to add the February 125 call. That'll give us a quick way to manip manipulate that. All right. 
So if I wanted to kind of play around with, with ratios, so I'm going to drop this down to 3. And then again, if I do 2. So basically what this is going to do, this is going to give me um, 5 of the February 125 calls. So I have a ratio for 3, but then I added just 2 extra. And you can start to see, okay, how, how would this work if I can manipulate it? That's a little bit too aggressive. I don't want to be that aggressive. And you can see uh, theta has gone down. I want a little, a little bit more theta. So it gives you the ability to go in and see, okay, this is this is how it's going to look with this position. Really fun to do. Like I said, blank canvas. Open a new what if scenario with with no positions. You want to see how it affects your positions? Go add one of those. I highly recommend you just go jump onto the Risk Navigator, play around with it. Like every software out there, it's frustrating at first. Um, it just is. It seems like Apple's the only company that has been able to make it make software that's not frustrating at first. But here's the irony: if you really know um, computers and stuff, Apple gets difficult as you get better. It's weird. So they're great at making things easy for people to use, but once you want to do some customized stuff, they they make it very very difficult.